UK households are fearing a further rise in energy bills during the winter season driven by high energy prices in the country. Hey, and thanks for tuning in. Holly Shields here for Calcine Media. Domestic electricity and gas prices have risen significantly in the last few months because of the rise in wholesale crude oil prices in the international market, leading to a jump in household energy bills. UK energy regulator Ofgem, which regulates the energy prices, updated the energy cap in October to ensure current energy prices are reflected in the country, which led to a rise in household energy bills. Also, the welfare benefits provided by the UK government which temporarily increased during lockdown, has been restored to pre-pandemic levels, which has now put low-income families under financial crisis. High household energy bills have contributed substantially to inflation in October, which rose to 10-year highs, basically 4.2%, well above the central bank's target of 2%. Plus, inflation is expected to surge further in over 5%, due to a rise in food prices and supply chain distribution. That said, let's take a look at three FTSE listed utility stocks that are likely to remain in the limelight. National Grid FTSE 100 listed company transmits and distributes electricity and natural gas to UK households. The company reported a 55% surge in operating profits for the six months ending September 30. And plus, they expect to deliver solid full year performance with a higher earnings per share and operating profit. Europe's energy crisis has sparked a profit surge for National Grid after its subsea power cables. Connecting the UK to the continent generated greater revenues on the back of record highs in the electricity market. National Grid secured higher prices to transmit electricity through its cables running from the UK to Belgium and France, and also benefited from the early startup of North Sea Link, the world's longest subsea power cable, which links the UK to Norway's hydropower. Centrica The company provides electricity and gas to residential customers. It operates in the UK, Norway, North America, and many other countries. The company took over domestic customers of Zebra Power and Blue Green Energy Services in November of this year, after the two suppliers went bust due to rising gas prices in the UK. Centrica has unveiled four projects in Scotland, which will receive a total of £400,000. The grants were awarded based on the impact of energy projects and the impact they would have on the community. Their feasibility and innovation, the quality of the concept and the opportunity for Centrica colleagues to land their support. Contour Global the company operates as a power generator, having its businesses in Europe and Latin America. It generates electricity from natural gas, diesel, and coal as well. Contour Global, the operator of wholesale power generation business, has revealed it enjoyed double-digit revenue growth over the year. A trading statement, the London-based company announced its revenue of $1.48 million for the nine months to the end of September up 46% from the previous year. It's also approved a quarterly pay cut of 4.465 cents per share. That's equivalent to $29.3 million, reflecting the group's target of 10% year-on-year dividend growth. And that concludes our list. Now that you're up to speed, check out some of our other videos to boost your financial IQ and stay up to date. This has been Holly Shields for Calcine Media.